First joining the street in 2013, Pat Phelan, played by Connor McIntyre, was one of the most iconic evil characters in recent years. He was involved in many storylines over the years, which led to lives being destroyed, people being hurt, and even the murder of multiple people. His reign of terror on Coronation Street ultimately came to an end in 2018, when he was stabbed by Anna Windass at the end of the famous gun siege at the Bistro. But ever since departing from the soap, what has actor Connor McIntyre been up to? Well, one major role Connor landed after Corrie was as Grandad Cooper on the hit comedy drama Ackley Bridge. His character was the granddad of Johnny and Queenie Cooper, and by all accounts was the complete opposite to the villain he portrayed on Coronation Street. Of course, as soon as people would see Connor on screen, they would immediately link him back to his character Pat Phelan from Corrie, but they would also be happy to see someone they recognise continue on in their career and get roles on other big shows. His character on the show had a history of heart attacks, which would ultimately lead him to dying in series 5 of the show. As well as on our television screens, he is also very active in the theatre community and has performed in various stage plays and pantomimes, including Cinderella alongside well-known actor and friend Les Dennis. According to his IMDb, he is currently working on a new TV series or film named Our Kid, alongside other actors such as Ricky Tomlinson and Leanne Best. Connor is also known for expressing his artistic side through painting, and during lockdown when there wasn't a lot happening in show business, he decided to take some time and focus more on his artwork, and he even teamed up with Mary Curie's Great Summer Art Auction and sold off some of his paintings to raise money for charity. So, that's a little bit of what Connor has been up to since leaving Coronation Street. Thankfully, and to a lot of people's relief, Connor's real life personality seems a lot nicer than the infamous Pat Phelan.